Hello everyone, welcome back. Uh, so, I've got some traction, sorry, some axle wrap issues with the truck. Um, basically, whenever I uh, step on the gas, the axle wants to wrap because I have big old four inch blocks under it right now. Um, long term solution is gonna be changing up the whole rear end and the um, springs and everything. But my temporary solution is this kit. Um, so I ordered this kit on, uh, on Amazon, 116 bucks, so not too bad. And uh, we're gonna throw it in the truck and uh, see if that fixes some of my issues. Um, I've had it for a while, just not getting around to uh, putting this thing in, but um, but yeah, hopefully this fixes the issue. Um, I know a lot of people have this problem, and I've seen a lot of videos of people putting traction bars on their trucks, and I think they're putting them on wrong. Um, the way that they're, the front link is. Anyways, um, this is how I did mine. Um, I'm going to do what I can with the video. Some of it got chopped up and uh, messed up because of the audio. Uh, but I'm going to share with you guys everything I have on putting this thing in. And uh, hopefully I help somebody out. So stick along and we'll put this thing in. Hey guys, today we're building a traction bar for my truck. Not going to be doing a lot of narrating because we have a lot of work to do. So, uh, watch along. And it wraps back. It's gonna, and it's this way. It's gonna pull it backwards instead of forwards. If it's down here, it's gonna push it. If it's up here, it's gonna go that way. So we can put it right here. You get what I'm saying? Um, sort of. So you're saying if it's down like this, and you say it's gonna wrap and push forward. Think about the the other part of that circle. If you hang it upwards and it wraps, it's gonna pull it that way. Which means we can put it as close to your cab as we want. It needs to be like right here. Except when I hit the brakes. So right there. <laughs> um, I was thinking right there. You want to hang it that low? I mean, my, look at my exhaust. Yeah. So how are we gonna get down there? That was the issue. Unless you want to put a cross box. brace to the other side. Box. Like you could do a box 
directly off this and turn this 90. So, mother of God. <laughs> <laughs> you just, uh, just hold it that way. Like that, kind of. But you want it down here. Well, I don't know. I mean, what do you think? I mean, we could just do some two-inch box and just weld a two-inch box here and go to there. I mean, it's not going to have that much force on it. Yeah, it is. I mean, we could reinforce... If we brought a tube down, we could brace it back to here. That's kind of what I was thinking. So let's go see what stock we have. This is kind of a bummer. It's in the gold box, though, too. Well, what if you went the other way? Turn the 90. Yeah. That could be doable. What's that right there at your feet? That big old thing. Um, massive. Too big? Maybe. Or we could go with some channel. That could potentially work. What, um... Because the tube would, or the frame would basically be the other half of the box. I'm trying well, to. Well, we're going to be able to get the gun in there. Yeah. Because you have that piece. So, here's. What I like about this is it gives us this. Well. Yeah, I see what you're saying. What do you think if we went, if we cut off eight inches of this, that would probably get us there? Well, is there like a little scrap piece we could just like just to s plan it out and look under the truck? Probably somewhere. Another we reason we probably shouldn't have welded that yet is because we could have made our own pieces, but whatever. Don't matter. We're, we're there now. There's a bunch of. That looks big enough. It's receiver stock. It's definitely strong enough. What is what Mmm. We could just get real fancy with it and get some 316's plate and just start making something cool. I kinda want to. Why? Get some cardboard. I'm surprised that much steel came off on the front end. It's holding in the blade and it's being washed off by the oil. Yeah, but still. You gotta knock that off a couple times. This is a cross section, guys. The wheel, just like the part itself. <laughs> That's too much. You're, you're playing with the channel that, not yet. Yeah. Right. So, what are we looking for this? So this is where we're at. <laughs> but why do you need such a thick piece of tube for that, you know? It's, a, it's just not the right piece to do that. You're gonna break the hammer. Yeah. <laughs>